Hi, it's Lucas. Yesterday we had a detailed look at this bank we had like the rotation land with the pattern effects, which is for the back show. Actually, this slide has the MIDI version. It also got the rotation land and also pixel mapping with the patterns. You know the reason I do this video is not because I want you guys to get the light from me. It's because I want you guys to know more about the lighting markets here. As mentioned yesterday, you know, um, so far the lighting again is from the public model. But after that, I will do more video which is not from the public model. They may be with the uh, fashion design or maybe, you know, a bit better on the dimmer or a bit better on the fan. But I'm not sure I'm, I, I will try to do it. And, um, alright, today let's have a detailed look at this little movie headlight first. You know, when you have a look at this movie headlight, you think it is really cute. And it is tiny, it do not weigh too much. So if you're doing a DJ and it was a different movie headlight, this movie headlight is suitable for you. And look at the front side, you got the LCD display and the DMS indicator, error indicator, and with the buttons up, down, right, and the left, and the OK. And in the back, it does not carry with the power cord, but with this PC, no, with this DC power, power cord, and there is a switch on and off, and the DMS in DMS out, and also in the power here, it can uh, a fuse, it can a fuse, yep. And on both sides here is the uh, cooling hole, but I did not see it with the uh, mask which prevent the dust go inside the wing headline. But here you also see um, a cooling hole here and all, as well as you know around the side here. And I see there is a mask here which prevent the dust inside the wing headline. Alright, let's get this baby on power and see the software and check out its effect and check out its noise and check out everything. Alright, I'll get this baby connected with the power code and now I'm going to put on the switch and see how it works on the receptor. Yep, I when it's on the setting, I could hear the fan is working, the fan is okay, so not really noisy. But when it's moving on the pen and cow, you could hear the noise from it, so it's not really good on the pen and cow moving. But I'm not sure how the performance on when it's working on the controller. Let's check it out. And now we have to check on the uh, software. Yeah, you can see the screen there with the uh, address here, with the set, with the menu, and with the system, and advanced, and here with the, um, the language, and the, um, I, I don't know what's that on the top here. Yeah, and you can see the DMS indicator, DMS indicator is not putting on yeah because the light is not connected with the DMS cable yet and the error is not working it is not brighter so that means that the light is okay okay I go with the set here and you can see there is the run mode right setting and in was pan in was tail and pan and tail encoder and the dimmer curve you can see uh, linear and the square and the INSQ so it could choose the um, dimmer, dimmer mode so normally we get the with the uh, linear if you're doing a DJ the dimmer is not really <laughs> really important but if you 
doing this live for the wash model the link here is really cool all right let's go back go back and you can see the uh, top temperature protection yep it could step the uh, temperature protection here with the uh, 60 type, 60, 65 degree or 64 degree you could you know get some adjusting on the temperature right this this is cool i would say and here it says that it's loading the file that means you go back to the uh, factory setting yep right and go up uh, no signal keep there is key clean yep and the um, the average mode is that that is 20 channel and there are 38 channel a 20 channel and 38 channel yeah there's two channel mode and DMS address setting and the run mode setting DMX sound and someone sound two and the automatic model three two one yeah three three automatic model right uh, this is the setting so go back and the uh, menu get the menu all right the menu is the uh, manual operation of this movie headlight you know normally you know we don't use this you know uh, maybe we connect it with the DMS controller maybe we put it onto the sound mode or onto the uh, automatic mode so menu is not really not really cool for performance all right let's go back and then set the system yeah it's so that um, total picture hour and the uh, current temperature and the uh, the software version and how long the moving headlight is using partial picture hour I don't know what's that I don't know what's that on this item yeah and the SOS the temperature go back the advance you know advance you know it is the uh, software for updating or for the uh, steps adjusting you know we normally don't touch this view yeah go back okay let's try this all right this is the uh the screen changing the direction of the screen yeah all right yeah and this one is for the uh, language setting you know when the lighting is sending out of china is normally setting with the uh, English yeah all right we get this baby on the uh, DMS mode and check out its performance yeah I will get this moving in line kind of well with the DMS controller and you see here with the DMS indicator it's on right that means that is connect well all right and now I'm setting the green headlighting to the 20 channel the difference between the 20 channel and the 38 channel is that 38 channel got the pixel mapping of this moving headlight but the 20 channel it don't have the pixel mapping and now we check out on the pen it's on the channel 1 again it address on 001 and get the channel 1 on Yeah, I feel that when this moving light moving on the pen is a bit quiet, it's, it's smooth and a bit quiet, it's not that noisy. Yeah, and the pen fly. Hey. But you know, when it's moving on the tail, it's not that. Um, it's not that perfect, you could hear a little bit noise from it. 
and the channel 4 is the tail fan. Here yeah, just move with very little. Channel 5 is dimmer, channel 6 is strong, channel 7 is green, and now it's red, correct? Channel 7 is red. Right. Channel 6 is strong, different strong. Slow, faster, faster, slow, faster, strong, different strong. And channel 7 is the uh, dimmer. Yeah. And the channel A is the uh, Channel A is the green. Alright, channel channel 9 is the blue. Yeah. And channel 10 is white, so it is RGB W4 in 1. And the 11 is the micro effect. Micro color. Yeah. And the um, 12 is the room. Yeah, tell this to you. You know, when it's working in a room, you know, it's not that smooth. It's not that smooth. And you could hear a little bit noise from it. And the uh, third thing is the last location. Slow and faster. Yeah. And the uh, fourth thing is the uh, building program. Right. So I is the building program. Yeah, you can see. You can see the coding of the building program. Right. Get loading on. You can see the change different patterns. Yeah. So the third thing is the patterns, and the third thing is the pat pattern speed, right? Now you can see the uh, pattern is moving, so the third thing is the speed and adjust for the pattern. Right, change another pattern, yeah. Right, change is slow. Yeah, that's it. And the 16 is the straight red. Straight red dinner. 16 is straight red dinner. Alright, yeah, you can see there is red dinner on there. And the 17 is the green. Oh, yes. You can see there's green there. Alright. And blue. Yes. Okay, I'm trying to like that with the 14. 14. Yeah, I'm now trying to like that pattern. You can see the. Uh, 16 red, yeah, and with the uh, 17 green, yeah, that's it. And the 18 is the blue, yeah, that's it, blue. 
So if the pattern is not running in LUT LED, this LED will be changed in LUT colors. Yeah. And the nerding is white. Yeah. And the trend is on reset. All right. Okay, now I'm changing the moving headlight into the um, 40A trend mode. You know this moving headlight have two trailer mode, one is the 20 mode and the other is the 30A trailer mode. The difference between them is that the 30A trailer mode could pixel mapping on each LED. That means each LED has its own trailer. Now I'm going to put the center of the LED into red. You know, from the 1 to 20, it's same as the 20 trailer mode, but start from the 20. 21, it says that is the LD1 going to red. Yeah, alright. And the second is the green, blue, right again with the white. And another LD. Okay, white, yeah. And another, another LD. Another LD. Get it wrong. Yeah, you see red, green, blue, and white. Okay, I go with next. Yeah. Yeah. So go with next. You know, each LED could select the color that is so called the pixel mapping. Yeah, this is the uh, 48 channel mode. Each LED could have its own channel. All right. So you can get all slider on. All right, you see that? H R E U T O L E. All right. So this is the uh, what are you trying to go? All right. Um, let's see what pattern this movie can like carrot. Yeah. I've set the moving wood headlight into lock that bright. So um, it says that the trend of 14 here is the uh, pattern effect setting. Alright, go to the trend 14. Alright, okay, on. Alright, then go to the trend 14. Trend 14. Yeah, I see that. And it says that the trend of the pick with the speed change. Again on speed. Are this only on one pattern? Yeah, alright. Trend of body. No. Get the trail of on. Yeah, you see that? Different patterns. Different patterns and change the speed. Change the speed. Right, change the pattern again. Yes. Yes, these are the pattern you could see.
Okay, now I'm putting the moving head on the wall and see its colors and the room angle and see its effects. Alright, now the moving head is on the room model and uh, the trend of Charles' room. And get it into the smallest angle, biggest angle. And you can hear that you know when it's on you the the mode of noise that is not that smooth. And now we get it with the uh, demo of the trend of five. Make it brighter. Dark. And go bright again. Yeah, I make it in the practice and in the room again. You see that? And now I'm getting it into the uh, color effect mode on the channel 14. So still I'm getting room up on the channel. Okay, in the body. And uh, now I'm putting on the lens on the rotating on the um, channel th 13. Yeah. So you can see the effects. It's very similar as the big movie headlight, just you know, not many varieties. So I make it move a little bit faster. You can see different colors, different effects. You know, actually, if I got the fuck from the here, you can see from the farm, you can see the beam, if that is really beautiful, but I don't have the haze of the fuck from the here, so I could only show you this effect. Yeah, that's it. You know, it's like got the haze machine or the fog machine here. You could see really beautiful with the uh, rotation thing is that, but I don't get it here, so you could not see it. Yeah, we just checked this little moving headlight. You know, it's uh, in that moving headlight with the uh, watch with the beam and with the packing thing. What I thought out is, you know, when it is in the room model. You know, the model on the room is not that quiet, you know, you could hear the sound from it. And um, when it is on the location mode, you could also hear a little bit sound from it. You know, um, so it probably not okay when it's doing the lighting job on the church or on somewhere, you know, near really quiet, we have light. But it is okay, really okay for you to bring the DJ on the party, on the club, or on the um, weddings, you know, there's no problem at all. Yeah. Alright, this is it. You know, if the light is moving in light, or if you have any questions on other lighting, just leave me in the comments. Yeah.
Yeah, thanks for watching my video and I hope you could continue watching my video and later I will probably get some other movie headlines or other podcasts and do more videos.